a little dish of water back here. I'm just dipping them into the water. Now they're wet. So we're now on that probe preset number one, circling the dragon screen. So now focus on the patient's knee. So Sunny, tell me where it is that you actually feel the pain there in your knee. Yeah, I feel the pain here toward the side. As you can see, there's some swelling already. Yeah, I see that. Through here. There's some in under on this side, but the majority of it is right here where the swelling, and it goes down a little bit through here. And you actually fell down this morning, didn't you? I fell, and as I was falling, as I was trying to save myself, I kind of twisted my knee in an effort to, to break my fall. Okay. So what we're basically going to do is take the two probes, put one of them right around the center of one of the pain areas, and then with the other one, move it in that area. Now the sound you hear from the Accutron is what we call the searching sound. And I'm going to move this till I hear the highest pitch sound. I search with both probes. So right now the reading on that meter is about 20% when I get to the most conductive points. The next step is to press this trigger switch, which actually starts the flow of current. And as you can hear, the sound changes. Do a little bit of gentle massage. Is that comfortable for you? Okay, so I'm just doing a little gentle massage with the probes. It just treated for six seconds. And after six seconds, the reading on the meter is now 50%. So it went from 20% conductivity to 50%, which is a good sign. It shows that we're reducing the resistance. Resistance goes along with injury. When you injure an area, there's more electrical resistance. That keeps the pain going. Okay, so after the second time, it's still at 50%. So now we're going to go to a different set of points. Yeah, when I'm ready to treat, I press this red trigger switch let it go and that starts the treatment you do not want to hold that switch down just press it and release it see a little bit of massaging motion okay after the first six seconds we're up to 45 percent so let's give it another six second treatment and see if we get it higher than 45 percent we're trying to get that reading as high as we can it rarely will go to 100 but we just want it as high as possible because that will be the maximum amount of reduction of the resistance so another one is i'm going to put one probe on the back of her knee which is the uh, acupuncture point Wei Chung or bladder 40. And with this one, again, search around the area of, of injury and impact where the most conductive point is. Right about there, which is a little bit above the spleen nine points. So and I have one on the back of the knee and one on the front. I'm not worrying about being on classical acupuncture point locations. I just want to make sure that it's the points that are searched by the probe. More. Now, what I'd like you to do is move that knee a little bit in the and just turn your foot in and out so you would go through the area that normally would hurt while I'm doing this current. Yeah, that's good. Just keep, just very slowly turn it in and out, a little bit more slowly. Okay, the current went even higher, went up to 60 this time. The motion helped. Just keep turning it. See, the, ha the fact that having you turn and reproduce what would normally bring on the pain while I'm treating normally is a good way to relieve it. Now I'm going to put, this time I'm going to put one probe on the outer part of the knee. We're done. So now I'm going to go one from above the knee to this um, point right below. Again, you want to get several different vantage points of getting the current through. Searching. Okay, we're getting the blue light, which is anti-inflammatory, and the microcurrent, which is pain relieving and reducing electrical resistance. The two together will have to do a good job on this. Now, why don't you just stand up and sit down and see if you notice any change in the pain levels. Just walk in place and to turn down. Well, there's a significant change in the level of stiffness and, uh, yes, and a significant level in the chain of, of pain. Okay, so if you would say the pain was a 10 before I did anything and zero is total relief, how would you rate it at this moment? About a two, two. Very good, okay. So I'll just sit down again. That'll end the segment on circling the dragon. Segment on circling the dragon. Okay, so.